You know, it's amazing how we can talk about the weather, but when it comes to mental health, how, well, we're talking about it, but we're not talking, talking about it still. And the problem is, is that it's subjective, so we all suffer from it differently. You see, you start talking about your own mental health, and people either think you're mental, or they just switch off not interested. So, who do you actually talk to? Never quit. If you stumble, get back up. What happened yesterday no longer matters. Today's another day, so get back on track and move closer to your dreams. You can do it. It's nice to be surrounded by bits of positivity, such as things like that. But the reality is often completely different because we're often lost in our own mind. We're trapped by our traumas. We're suppressed by our emotions. And so every day is a different struggle. It's not always the same struggle, it's a different one. So sometimes we can be struggling with nightmares or things that have happened in the past. Or sometimes we can struggle with things that haven't even happened because our mind is constantly full of anxiety, what ifs. And it's like you are imagining multiple scenarios all at once and it's crazy. So if you're not stuck in the past with I'm not good enough, or whatever else has happened, then you're kind of stuck in some future frame where you don't know what's happening, or maybe you've kind of calculated for multiple things even though they haven't happened. So you can't actually live in the moment because you're stuck in the past or you're stuck in the future. And so it's hard. And so many people talk about living your best life, but the reality is, is that we don't know what our best life is because we've got nothing to compare it to. We've got a past life, we've got this future life, but in neither situation is there this thing called this best life. We fantasize that maybe life will get better and we live with this constant hope that life can get better. But there is still hope and this is what I say to people that we can still keep building and life might have its twists and its turns and sometimes life collapses. But that doesn't mean to say that we can't rebuild and maybe life might look differently. It might take different angles or directions, but we can still rebuild. Don't give up hope or think that nobody else understands because actually a lot of us understand. My name is Stephen Alexander and I'm a radio presenter. I hope this helps.